George Connor earned All-America honors three times, once at Holy Cross in 1943 and then at Notre Dame in 1946 and 1947. During his eight-year career, 1948 to 1955, with the Bears, he was named to the All-NFL team at three different positions, offensive tackle, defensive tackle, and linebacker. In 1952 and 1953, he was named All-League on both the offensive and defensive teams by different wire services. Although George is remembered as one of the finest of the post-World War II tackles, it was as a linebacker that he made his biggest mark in the pro football world. And it was the sheer necessity of a desperate situation for the Chicago Bears that prompted George's switch to a linebacker position. The Philadelphia Eagles were running roughshod over the NFL in 1949 and one end sweep with two guards and the fullback leading Steve Van Buren around the flank had been particularly successful. The Bears coaching staff hit upon the idea of moving a big, fast, an agile man like the 6-3, 240-pound Connor into a linebacker's slot to try to stop the play. The move was made, the experiment was successful, the Eagles were beaten and Connor became a linebacker for keeps. That didn't mean, however, that he was a one-way specialist. He continued to play offensive tackle, winning all NFL acclaim on both offense and defense. George was always one of the smartest men on the field wherever he played. He seemingly instinctively knew about the movements of certain offensive players will provide to alert defender as to which way the play if going, long before knowing the movements of certain offensive players became vogue. Connor always played the game hard and clean and with exceptional effectiveness and he might have continued in a starring role for many years had not a knee injury cut short his career after the 1955 season.